Truly fascinating stuff. Oh, Hannah, I've always admired you. Your blonde hair, your beautiful smile. Some people say we're twins. You must think I was born yesterday. Anyway, enough about my obsessions. Hi, I'm Jada Star. <laughs> and you're watching Sexy Guy 2. And today we're going to be talking about SATA hard drives. If you want to know about SATA hard drives, you're looking at the wrong video. Click here. Just take a closer look at the connections on the back of the hard drive. Come closer, I can't see you. This is the data connector. This is the power. And this is the jumper settings. Yes. I know what you were thinking. Why would a hard drive need a jumper? Well, you see, PAS hard drives are old school. So old school, they got slave and mouse dear shoes. This is what a jumper looks like. So this is my main hard drive, which has already been set to master. So, this is my additional hard drive, which I'm going to install, and I'm going to set it to slave. So as you can see for this hard drive, we also have the settings, which can be seen on the front. But also, more clearly on the back. So as you can see, my jumper is now in line with slave. But did you know, there's also another option, it's called cable select. So remember, before you go fingering all that in your computer, make sure you strap up. Use an anti-static wristband. This will prevent ESD in your computer. And make sure you remove all forms of jewellery and that all sleeves are rolled up. So I'm going to attach this to the chassis. If you don't have an anti-static wristband, make sure you keep your fingers constantly on the power supply. So this is an 80 pin ribbon, which has been colour coded for your convenience. The black is the master. The grey is the slave and the blue is where it connects to the motherboard. And also, on some ribbons, it will be labelled for your convenience. Your IDE port is usually clearly marked like this. There are usually two ports, IDE1 is usually reserved for hard drives and IDE2 is usually reserved for optical drives. So, this is my master hard drive, which as you can see here has been attached to the data ribbon, which has also been attached to the motherboard. So I'm going to show you how to do this outside of your, your computer, 
that you will be doing this inside of your computer. So here I've got my slave part to my ribbon, which connects here. And once you have done that and it's secure, you would add your power supply. So, depending on your case, you may either have to screw your hard drive into position or slide it simply into the bay. Myself, I'm giving it a good old screw. Oh, and don't forget, make sure you leave a gap between the two hard drives for better airflow. So that's me done. Dish, bash, wash. Remember to subscribe.